Okay, uh, can you hear me over there? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so I got to be real quick. Uh, this is a table of contents, not important right now. Uh, we can come back to this later. So there's software and there's formal validation in order to write correct software, but we somehow insist to not consider ourselves as mathematicians, and therefore we don't use formal validation, and therefore are bugs. But that's no big deal because we have somehow, we developers invented testing and QA, and we spend huge amount of resources in, in tests, and we even invented uh, types of tests. Okay. Now, now, so let me capture your attention, please, on unit testing, because it's very easy once, once you have your, set up your testing, your, run, your test runner framework, and your code coverage uh, framework. Uh, it's very easy because Everything is just code, so your developers can collaborate with testing. It's highly effective in the sense that uh, you are, uh, I mean, the developer is uh, writing some code, gets interrupted, leaves a bug, but at some point, someone uh, will have written or will write a test. So there's not the bug. I mean, the bug does not go uh, with the software when, it, when the software goes gold. Also, it will include, it will, it will enhance the documentation because you are not, run, you are not writing only the, the, the documentation for the, for the functions, but also for the test which test the function. In the end, and so com corporates know that this will uh, end up in some enhanced developer retention. Well, I think this is going to happen also in open source. Of course, uh, maybe less, because in open source, of course, it's not always m money. Someone will might code for love, for attention, or respect, or a combination of those. Um, so that's enough for the bad part of the talk. I mean, these are, these are claims one cannot prove. The, one can tell statistics about it uh, eventually. But uh, in order to try to save the, the, the day, the rest of the talk is devoted to just gives you some hints about a specific tool. You can use it. And let's start to, for, the, for the, the choice of the tool. The tool, the, the tool of, cho of choice is Elkov, and there's a reason for that. I mean, if you're a company, you can use software as a service premium products. Those are good because even if the company providing you for code coverage fails because every company is doomed to either failure or, get, or be merged or acquired, you are supposed to have some uh, budget you can allocate to, well, to, find, to uh, cope with it and find another situation. But there's no big deal about it because uh, you have the compiler tools. I'm sorry not to know the Intel and Visual Studio status on this. I'm sorry not to know the Xcode status on this, but that's, this, that's, the Xcode part is fine because every single Mac OS installation is going to ship an old version of Clang by default, wrapping over uh, an, ancient, an ancient version of GCC, which not only wraps over GCC, but also for uh, Jigov data which is the same path that Elkov is going to end is going to use as 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 the resource this is the this is the single uh, important part uh, important slide of this part i mean meaning this you can you can run the 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 the, the demo uh, every t every any time you want and meaning also uh, um Organizers told me whenever you have to, so let's start. Uh, the the Elkov tool looks like this. It's very it's pretty simple. You can browse the packages. Imagine you write a very simple application and some tests for, for that. Uh, you can browse. You can browse up to uh, down to your code. Maybe you have. Maybe you did uh, write uh, some tests for the happy cases, and you will be missing some some lines coverage. You can see that right over there, and you can browse the details. 
imagine you write some, some of the missing tests, you would maybe see something like this. But if you read carefully between the lines, you're going to see something like this. Meaning, in the, there's, that's a code block, very simple. But in the condition, you are passing through just twice. One is the, uh, the condition is true, so you jump, so, so you fall through the, through the inner block. And the other one is uh, the condition is false, but uh, so, so you jump to the end of the block. But, uh, well, at least you should, you should pass uh, uh, twice to the inner block because you should analyze every single uh, behavior of your program. You can enter the block for, by the first by the left part of the subcondition or the, or the right part. In order to cope with this, the, the Elkov tool allows you to, to, to enable branch coverage. Oh, well, I've, I didn't say that, but uh, I'm, I'm really aware. Most of you already know the tool. I ask you for your forgiveness. If you, don't, if you didn't know the tool, uh, please use it. Maybe it will uh, teach something for you. Uh, so you're, you're seeing now that now the branches are hint, the missing, the, the missed branches. And therefore, in line with, with what was, we, was, we were commenting before, the tool is now hinting you you are missing some, some, branch, some branches. Also, the tool is going to hint stuff, weird stuff like this. This corresponds to uh, exceptions spontaneously thrown at the end of the program. I don't know what's this, but that's no problem because you are the C++ experts. You know what is happening there. How to cope with that? Well, plan B, f uh, make the translation unit fall back to C. No exceptions, no problem. Of course, you're going to have other different problems, but for some translation units, you might want to go with that. So the, the, the branches are missing. You, you write the missing tests. Everything's fine. Fine. Uh, but the plan B, the plan A, of course, should be to stay in C++. So the tool provides you this, uh, this super ugly comment you can use. This is going to happen also in every single uh, construction call because, of course, it's going to potentially throw an, an out-of-memory exception. But you can use this. Uh, you uh, like, it would be good to, uh, if, the, if the tool provides something, some additional modes, but I think there, there's nothing about this for now. Also. Uh, uh, so run the tool on your favorite project. It might look like this. It might look like this, or something like this. Um, this is the type. This is the type of project when if you can when if you contribute, it will fire back uh, weeks after you push the code. This is the type of project when if you contribute, it will fight. It will fight back in right immediately, but development will be more stable and slow. So that's some information about me. You can find me uh, later in the coffee break if you want something. Uh, if, so if you knew about the tool, please tell me something that I have missed it. If you didn't know the tool, please use it. And thank you very much. I think there are no time for questions. No, question, questions will be in the coffee break. Thank you very much. Thank you.